Hey, this is Shay, and for one of my first videos uh, for this particular series, I'm going to actually show you how I create my flat layouts that I eventually use on my Poshmark closet. So this is me in my Poshmark closet, and um, I'm at, at Shay 3624. I also use these same flat layouts for my social media, like my Instagram page. Uh, most of the time I actually use the same flat layout that I've used on a cover shot from my Poshmark closet and I just uh, I upload that same shot to my Instagram page. Sometimes it's another shot that I've put inside the, the actual listing of that Poshmark listing um, and, I've, and I actually put that on my Instagram page instead. So this is, this is me. I'm just showing you the really, really easy, simple uh, way that I create my shots using those basic materials. And I'm going to show you how I created that particular shot uh, that's to my right. Again, very easy. You're going to gather your materials. Your materials really include mostly just this poster board. It's a project board that I, re that I got from one of the uh, hobby stores. I'll have the information for you below, but it's just a basic board. It's been used. I've had it for probably about a year. As you can see, I have little heel marks on it. I probably have little, uh, little marks in general on it. It's not new. You don't need something that's new. You just need something that's about that same size. And again, I'll have the information for you below. Uh, for this particular one, I'm gonna, I'm trying to sell this jacket that I have up on Poshmark. It's not selling. It doesn't have a whole bunch of likes. And I'm thinking that if I change it from a mannequin uh, cover shot to a flat layout, that I may actually receive more likes um, and maybe to sell even faster. So this is me just changing from a mannequin to a flat layout, hoping that it will sell better just uh, because I have a flat layout and people will be able to see it a little bit better. So now that I've chosen my main item, I'm going to cho choose a second corresponding item. This is me doing a little bit more of a cross promotion uh, with this flat layout because I'm going to eventually put this skirt for sale as well. The skirt goes perfect with the jacket. It's around the same size. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and add both of them to my flat layout. Keep in mind that your main item always wants, you always want the main item to be the center of your photograph. So again, I'm just kind of, you know, uh, figuring out how I'm going to lay it out eventually. Um, I want to take the skirt and lay it out really, you know, real nicely and uh, figure out exactly what my cover shot is going to look like. Again, it matches the skirt really well. That's really important. This is uh, this is how I style a lot of my items. Just make sure it matches, the color matches. Everything doesn't always have to match, but for this particular cover shot, I'm doing a kind of a matchy-matchy thing. So I'm going to lay it out. Uh, keep in mind that I'm actually sitting in front of a window. It's natural. I'm using my natural lighting, and I'm just kind of sitting in front of the window in natural light. Not too bright, but not too dark either. And I'm going to use that natural light to my advantage when I create my flat layouts. And that way, I don't have to do any studio lighting. I'm using the natural light. It's probably about 3 o'clock in the afternoon. And again, I'm just laying out my items together, making sure they look good together. making sure everything is kind of like you know centered really well I'm using my towels on my floor as kind of a grid to make sure things are centered really really well and I'm gonna also add this cute little statement necklace that's also hot hot pink and, and again it corresponds to the hot pink in the skirt uh, which brings out the hot pink in my opinion of uh, in the floral pattern on the actual jacket it's a really really cute jacket it just just wasn't doing uh, as well as it could have. So again, I'm using my grid on my floor as my, my pattern to help straighten it. And now it's pretty much ready for me to take uh, the picture. So this is how it looks from my viewpoint. I let the skirt be a little bit off the grid or off the, the, the board. I don't need the full skirt. I just really, really want the full jacket, which is my main item. So I'm going to go ahead and start taking my photos. I'm going to use my regular camera on my phone. I'm not going to use the Poshmark uh, app to take the pictures. I'm just going to take it with my regular uh, phone. And then I'm going to go back in a few apps and kind of make those adjustments to the size, the shape, and the color. Um, as you can see, again, I did it in front of a window. So I just want to kind of you to see the window and the light that's shining through. 
and it's just really easy just gonna go ahead and snap my photos right now from different angles different camera angles um, I like to take a bunch of different photos to see what works best I sit down uh, put it inside my little app and um, and I, I, I keep doing that until I get the you know the right angle after I've already set and laid out my items so again, this is the item from my viewpoint. I wanted you to see the windows again. See my open windows. Not too sunny, not too bright. Three, two, three o'clock in the afternoon is perfect lighting for it. And it shows you how you can go from this, which was my original post on Poshmark, to this, which is what you just saw me take. And in the end, I actually added a little, a little Bible. Um, I like to tell stories with my with my clothing with my flat layouts and this is just me I thought this would be a perfect outfit for me for church so I added my little Bible as my extra accessory so that's pretty much it this is again my basic way on how to create a flat layout I'll do another video on what, exactly what apps I'll use but I'll also put some more information for you in that description so follow me on Poshmark at Shay, S-H-A-Y, 3624. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.